Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Elon Gale about the one that got away premiering on Prime Video June 24th. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for uh, having me. I'm excited to be here. No, it's it's really cool. I mean, the thing, like they've been a lot of reality TV shows don't reinvent the wheel. You're reinventing the wheel here. This is a very unique, fresh concept. I got excited about it. Is that kind of something on the mind too? Like you've done a lot of things that are kind of clear cut reality TV competition. This is a little different, Elon. I think that's exactly what made me excited to do it. Right. Yeah. I think that it felt, you know, this. I'd love to take credit. It wasn't my idea. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Gabe Turner and Caroline Roseman had this idea and they were nice enough to come to me and say, hey, do you think you can make this show? And I was like, I don't know, maybe. I want to try. It's really exciting because what you're saying is right, which is yep. I didn't know what was going to happen. We'd never gone that direction. Like, how do you cast it? How do you find the people? How do you make sure that you're going in a direction that's going to find an ending that's enjoyable? And the answer to all those questions was, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but I think that I'm always, I'm always really interested in just trying to find new ways to talk about relationships. And, Absolutely. And especially for me on this show, not to mandate what a relationship should be. Yeah. You know, no, 100%. There's no yeah. ending. All our endings are, are, are really about what makes sense for the person. Yeah. And I think that's really exciting and, and, and feels different to me that it didn't narrow our, uh, our storytelling ability. It actually broadened it in a way that was really exciting and, and fun to kind of just try to figure out. In real Absolutely. Time. This is a really big question. And when I got this interview confirmed with you, I was so excited to ask it. This is a big question. And I feel like there's no clear cut answer, but I feel like you're the right person to ask. Okay. Why do we crave reality TV in your opinion? <laughs> I think there's a, I think there's a lot of reasons. I, I didn't say enjoy. Like, I feel like we crave, like we crave it, Elon. Like we want to see it. We want to watch everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I was, I've been thinking about this. I'm glad you asked. Yep. I don't have a good answer for you, but I'm going to try. <laughs> It's a big question. I understand. Uh, this morning, actually, I was on Instagram and I saw somebody that I follow had posted a what I eat every day reel. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it never occurred to me that I would care about what someone ate in a day. It just not, it's not a thing I would have ever thought about. But I clicked on it and I watched it. And in 45 seconds, I really got a sense of how someone spends a day. Yeah. And I think that we feel a little bit trapped in our own existences. Yeah. I think that we know that the world is big and that mm -hmm. our experience is tiny. Yes. And I think that reality TV lets us have just a tiny bit of a, of a, of a, a lens into other people's lives. Yep. And sometimes, you know, I watch I watch the Great British Baking Show and I watch the most dramatic shows on TV and I'm equally wrapped by both. Yeah, because all I, I feel like I'm just like watching a dude bake all day and I'm like, oh, my God, that's so <laughs> cool. I want to bake all day. I think it, yeah. it's a it's a window into alternative lives. Yeah. There's also no shelf life. I go back and watch, you know, Kitchen Nightmares clips all the time. Like, like, I'm like there's like. No shelf life for a lot of it too. They're always going to be around. They're they're always there, and they're always full of people. I think that remind us yep. of exaggerated versions of us, yes, or of people that we know. And the only reason we're not those people is because we don't have dramatic music behind us. Yeah, and we don't have. <laughs> I think at the end of the day, a lot of these conversations. When I watched the uh, the one that got away, and I say watch because that's what I do. I, I watch yep. as things happen, <laughs> and. When I watch it, I go, oh, I've had this conversation. I've yeah. been down this road. I've the relatability, absolutely, yep. And, and, and I just find that there's also something aspirational mm -hmm. about less for me what they're doing and more the fact that they're doing it. No, there's absolutely. A, there's a bravery in putting yourself out there and allowing people to just get that glimpse into your life 
that I find kind of awe-inspiring. And I know that people like, I know that it's really fun to punch down and, and look at look at reality show contestants as unserious. Mm -hmm. But I think that there's something really glorious about saying, I only got one life. I'm going to give this a shot. Screw it. What's going to happen? Absolutely. And they're going to be able to see. Kind of, don't you wish you could do that more often? Just Very true. Thing? Yeah, absolutely. They're going to be able to see the one that got away on Prime Video June 24th. Elon, it was great chatting with you. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.